Yes, that's right. The Crane Hotchkiss wedding is canceled. <sighs> that was one angry cater. Now to cancel the orchestra. You know, I had a feeling that you would enjoy doing this, Teresa. Whitney, I am glad that Ethan decided not to marry Gwen, but he's not marrying me either. Well, how can he? He loves you both. I know. I thought I want him free and clear, but thanks to Gwen's Ethan can date us both and decide routine, I could still lose him. You're afraid Gwen will win Ethan back on their date at the country club, aren't you? Yes. I wish there was a way I could see what was going on. So, Gwen, what have you planned for our date? Well, since we're starting over, I thought we should start to make new memories together. You know, Gwen, I'm so glad you're handling this so well. Ethan, your happiness is all that matters to me. And if you find it with me, that's wonderful. But if not, I'll, I'll just have to get on with my life. Mr. Crane, you yes. have a phone call? Oh, thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. So far, so good. Shannon, Robert, oh, I'm so glad you could make it. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm okay. I'm sorry the wedding was canceled. Oh, it's been delayed. That's all. Before you know it, I'll, I'll be married to Ethan in no time. Just tell us what we can do. Well, just, just talk me up to Ethan. I mean, remind him of all the history we've had, all, all the good times, all the love we've shared. That and how you and Ethan should always be together. By the time we're finished, Ethan will have forgotten all about that gold digger, Teresa. Hello? Get up, Hank. You still have a job to finish. You have to kill Sheridan Crane. You really don't have to stay. I'll give Ivy and Julian a tomato soup cake no, that you baked for you, you know, Sam, I just want to tell Julian that... Well, that there's no hard feelings for refusing to call Crane Construction during the rest of the Well, look, maybe you have forgiven him, but I'm okay, not... Okay, actually, I'm, I want to thank Ivy for making the call. I mean, obviously it was difficult for her. You know, she and Julian are having a hard time. Oh, Grace, I know you're trying to be neighborly, but... All right, fine. Stay, but as soon as I know the cranes are committed to sealing up those mine shafts, we are out of here. Okay. All right? I, mean, I can't wait to see Ivy's face. I mean, she's going to be so surprised. <laughs> uh, Ivy, <gasps> Sam, together, lovers. Ivy, you lying slut! Oh, stop slut. saying that! <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Ivy? Uh, oh, yeah. I can't help it. Uh, Julian has me so upset, I'm sorry, I'm not thinking straight. Uh, Is there any chance he's just going to wake up and not remember anything? Uh, I don't know, but I wouldn't count on it. Uh, oh, great, great. Well, at least it's the three of us were the only ones privy to Julian's ramblings. Can you imagine if Grace and Sam were to drop by? <laughs> What a disaster that would be. I'll be back in a moment. Ivy, Sam. Ivy, Sam, together. Jimmy's still hungry. Take Jimmy home. Have a martini and a Danish break. I'm not going anywhere until 
we're sure those kids aren't going back to the mine shaft to look for that blasted box. I'm going to pieces, Jimmy! Save me! Oh, that box scares Timmy. Hmm, as well it should. If it were found and opened again, the powers of goodness would nuke us in a nanosecond. I'm just really relieved that you're not going to go look for that magic box. It proves to me that you didn't think I could possibly try to kill you or Kay or anyone in that mine shaft. I know that you'd never try to hurt me if you could help it, Charity. Did you hear Miguel? Looks like we're safe for now. Nobody's going looking for that box. If Miguel would go back to the mine with me, we could find that box. Then everyone would know that what we said happened in the mine really did. You know, I think my mom and Reese are both right. There was so much gas pent up down there that it made you guys all hallucinate. I know what I saw, Simone. I just need proof. Here's your proof, Kay. Now, come and get it. <laughs> pancakes while they're hot. What's wrong, Kay? You love pancakes. <sighs> yeah, I know, but Simone, I just got the weirdest feeling that proof of what happened last night in the mine is here in the house. You're right, Kay. Here's your proof. Come on, Kay. The pancakes won't eat themselves. Beginning to worry you're gonna go up to the mine to look for that weird box after all. I am, Reese. I gotta find that box. Not if I can help it, you won't. Jimmy never gives a moment of peace. Listen, Timmy, we'll be in pieces if we can find that box. I didn't tell Charity because I didn't want her to worry about me getting hurt. Does Kay know you're going back up there? No. Tell her later. So, you really do think that Charity tried to kill you and Kay? Look, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe what Kay said earlier was right. Charity was possessed or something. You know, and if she was, I want to make sure it never happens again. No, it could be dangerous going back up there. I mean, the ground's still unstable. All that weird stuff. Look, I, that I know, Reese. But I, I gotta see if that box really exists. For Charity's sake. I love her so much. We've got to nip this in the bud, Timmy, or we'll be pushing up the daisies. Look, going to spy on Ethan and Gwen at the country club is a really bad idea. What if one of them sees you? Whitney, it is killing me not to know how their date is going. Well, look, why don't you just let Gwen have her time with him today, and you will have your time with him later, okay? Fair is fair. Not where Gwen's concerned. I am sure she's up to something. Look, why don't you just finish up your work here? Me and you will go see a movie and get your mind off all this. It won't work. My whole future is at stake here. 
only there was some reason for me to be at the country club. <sighs> Crane residence. I am sure Mrs. Crane will want it right away. Oh, no, no, no. I'll come over and get it. Thanks. I gotta go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this all about? What's going on? Fate came through for me again. I have to go to the country club to pick up a billing statement for Mrs. Crane. No, 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 no. Have them mail it, Teresa. You're just asking for trouble if you go to the country club to spy on Ethan and Gwen. No, I am asking for trouble if I don't go. I have to see what I'm up against in this dating duel with Gwen. Well, wait, wait. I'm going with you. Just in case Gwen tries to claw your eyes. Ethan's coming. Okay, remember, be settled. Ethan, sweetheart, look who's here. Hey. Hi. Robert. How you doing, buddy? Shannon. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, I know we were supposed to see each other today, well, under different circumstances. Our but... wedding. It's, it's okay, Ethan, you can say it. It's okay. Gwen's right. You know, the road to true love often has detours. I'm sure you two will be back on track in no time. I was just thinking about the first time you two came to a formal here at the club. Oh, <laughs> right. Gwen, you looked especially ravishing that night. Remember, Ethan? I do. I'll never forget. We were standing on the opposite side of the pool when you ladies arrived. <laughs> the look on your face when you looked across that pool and saw Gwen in her dress. You did look beautiful that night. And you looked so handsome in your tux. Look, can you give me a day or two to get rid of Sheridan, okay? No, not okay. If she does not die today... You'll give my brother, the police chief, my criminal file, blah, 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 blah? Now that you've lost Sheridan to Luis, I thought you were ready to get rid of her. I wonder what Sheridan and Luis are doing now. Whatever it is. I'm certain Sheridan isn't thinking about you. I came to see how my sweet lambs are doing after last night's most excellent adventure. Ah, we're just fine. And thank you again for leading us out of that mine shaft. Mm -hmm. I still don't remember any of that. I think your cousin and your beau are a bit dubious, dear. As if they think that last night's hallucinations were for real. Oh, no they don't, Tabitha. Kay and Miguel just can't put into words their thanks for you saving their lives. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, Tabitha. No, well, that's just what chaperones do. But I'm glad you all realize that the strange goings-on you think happened last night were just the effects of noxious gases playing tricks with your brain. <laughs> the very idea that our sweet charity could have demonic eyes and an evil voice and shoot them. What was it, Kay? Lightning bolts. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lightning bolts. <laughs> The idea that charity could electrocute people at will is as ridiculous as thinking my Timmy doll was alive. <laughs> Ow! Eh, yeah, you see, just wood and straw and stuffing and a plastic face. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Timmy's as inanimate as a doll can get. You're right. It's ridiculous to think that Tabitha's doll could actually walk and talk. Hear that? Hollow. Watch it, geek boy. Nice tone, though. That sounds better than my bongos. Ivy, Sam, lovers. I can't imagine how Mr. Crane found out about your affair with Sam Bennett while down in the mine. 
Me either, Pilar. Although Eve here seems to think that someone down there told him. Who? Well, that's the part I haven't figured out yet. But everything that happened last night was so strange. And boulders rolling around by themselves and that, that golden light that we saw. Who knows what Julian could have run into down there. Maybe what Kay Bennett said was true, you know, about the mirror that could see the past and the future. What if, what if Julian found it? Oh, Ivy, you're being ridiculous. Me? You're the one who gives credence to Grace Bennett's pre premonitions and, and to charities, too. Ivy? Why are you talking about charity? Is it every time? I know. Look, but after everything that's happened, uh, you should probably answer it. It'll be important. Hank, <laughs> this better be important, buddy. I will never forget what happened that night after Ethan saw me standing across the pool. <laughs> it was the talk of our set for days, oh. weeks. I can still see it plain as day. You were so struck by Gwen's beauty that in your rush to get to her, you walked into the pool and straight across it. And you did it without <laughs> spilling the drink you were holding. Being with Gwen was all you could think of. And when you finally got to her, you put your drink aside and said, let me go change, I'll be right back. <laughs> you even offered to get Gwen a drink while you were gone. Trey, cool old sport. And so romantic. Mm. A sign of true, lasting love. Mm. Finish. No. Before you finish anything, Ross, dear, why don't you finish eating before your food gets cold? It's Reese, Tabitha. Reese. R-E-E-S-E. -E -E. Oh, yes, yes, of course it is. Looking to prove what you say really happened last night, Kay? Who said that? Who said what? Come up to your room, Kay. The proof. Is waiting. Didn't you just hear a voice tell me to come to my room? No, Kay, and stop trying to be fair. I'm not joking, Simone. I heard a voice. And it sounded like one I've heard before. Kay, that's enough. You're starting to scare me. Quit it. Kay's hearing voices? What's that about? I don't know. But if she is, odds are they're from the dark side. Kay isn't exactly on heaven's A list. Moment. I think we better keep an eye on her, Timmy. I'll be right back. She's coming. It won't be long now. <laughs> Isn't Tabitha going to follow Kay? No. No, I don't think so, Timmy. I think we better stay here and try to convince Miguel that nothing supernatural happened last night so we won't go off looking for that damn box. Because if he were to find it, even if it stays shut, its mere existence would validate Kay's claims. One of which is that you are a living doll. And that would be... Tabitha, are you and your doll talking to each other? Uh, me talking to Timmy? Why would you say that? <laughs> because we heard you. Loud and clear. Oh. Thank 
Tabby, think! Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm afraid you caught me. <laughs> Timmy said think, not think! I was practicing my ventriloquism again. Ventriloquism? <laughs> yes, Charity and Miguel know all about it. <laughs> oh, right. Um, that day that we found you on the floor at your house after you fell. She was giving us that demonstration, remember? Yeah. That nightclub act you were planning. The girl's still suspicious. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Why, Tabitha? <sighs> well, it's bad enough that I talk to Timmy at home, but now I've started doing it in public. I mean, I, I, I've never felt so humiliated. Oh, no, 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 no. We didn't mean to upset you, Tabitha. <sighs> it's not you, dear. It's me. You know, sometimes I feel so lonely, and, and Timmy is all I have, and so we talk. Oh, it's pitiful. It's really pitiful. Nobody lives like Timmy's princess. Come on, Tabitha. You know you're not alone. You can always just come over here and talk to us. Yeah, and I'm sure you have great stories. Yeah, horror stories. here that what I saw last night in the mine shaft was real? The diamond I saw in Hapkida's cave. I remember picking it up, but how did it get here? Why is it glowing? All that stuff the old woman had was weird. Like the mirror showing me and Miguel making love. And if you do everything I say, I'll make your dream of having Miguel become real, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. We weren't talking about Charity. We were just wondering how she's doing after all she's been through. She's fine, thanks. And so is Kay. So, what do we owe this unexpected visit? Well, I came to talk to Julian. About what? Well, I want his word that all the mine shafts will be sealed, so something like last night will never happen again. And I just came to make sure that Julian was all right. Well, he's still unconscious. Really? I think I hear him mumbling something. <laughs> no reason. This is the secret Ivy's kept from me for all these years, her love affair with Sam Bennett. No wonder she wanted to make friends with Grace to be near Sam. I will see that those mine shafts are sealed. Good. Sam, I could be out of it for days, weeks, who knows. I hope he gets well quickly. And I brought him his favorite, my famous tomato soup cake. He must be reliving some earlier life trauma. Oh. Yes, I'm sure that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, maybe if I told him there weren't any hard feelings for refusing to call him Crane necessary. Construction, you know, it might make him feel less agitated. No, no, really. Eve was just saying how Julian shouldn't have any visitors, no matter how well-intentioned who could disturb his rest. Isn't that right, Eve? Yes. Sorry, I, I didn't know. Grace? I'll see to it that your cake is refrigerated so it doesn't spoil. Thank you, Mark. Come on, Grace, let's go. Are you sure? 
that he hasn't come to at all? No. E, would you just reassure Grace that Julian's state is perfectly normal for someone who's gone through what he's gone through? Well, I'm keeping a very close eye on him, Grace. You and Sam just run on home and be with the girls. I, he, I'm sure he'll come around soon, and don't you even worry about him. Well, you're the doctor. Yeah, you heard it. Come on, Grace, let's go. Oh, well, thanks so much for coming by. I wish you could stay longer, but, you know. And don't forget about sealing those mines, Ivy. Uh, Ivy! You lying slut. I want you out of this house. Now! Did you see that? Ethan just kissed Gwen's hand. Yes, Teresa, I saw it. Well, well, look at how close they are to each other. And they're, they're happy and, and, and smiling. They're, they're having such a good time together. You see, this is exactly why I didn't want you to come down here, Teresa. All you're doing is torturing yourself. Whitney, it hurts me to see the man I love with another woman. Gwen is not the other woman, Teresa. You are. And of course they're having a good time together. They've known each other their whole lives. Well, I have known him longer. <sighs> yeah, right. Because of that rag doll Ethan gave you in that picture when you guys were kids? That gives you first dibs on him, Teresa? No. Look, Gwen is smart. She was on the brink of losing Ethan to you, so she pulled this double dating trick out of her hat. She's got a second chance to prove to Ethan that she's the right woman for him, not you. She, she's not about to squander it by going off on him for falling in love with you or calling off the wedding. She's gonna use the time they have together to make sure that they have more time together. So if you go charging in there like Princess Xena, it's just gonna make Gwen look better. I guess you're right. Well, of course I'm right, Teresa, okay? Now come on, let's go before anyone sees us. No, I can't. I have to stay here and see what's gonna happen with Ethan and Gwen. Wait, Teresa. Well, I guess Robert and I should be on our way. Yeah, we know you two have a lot to talk about, so. Well, no, stay. It's been a lot of fun reminiscing about old times. Yeah. Speaking of old times, do you remember the week we all spent in Paris after finals our senior year? Oh, certainement. Tu as seen? Ah, mais oui. That was the week that Ethan did the most romantic thing any man has ever done for a woman. As much as it pains me to admit it, sport, you are numero uno in the romance department. When have so much history together, and all of it full of love, how can I compete with that? Hank, what are you doing here? I was just about to leave. All right, man, have a nice day, huh? No, wait. Hank, there has to be a reason why you stopped by. You're right, there is a reason why I stopped by this morning. A very important reason. With it. Don't keep us in suspense any longer. Ethan loves her. He really loves her. The only thing that got me through finals that week was knowing I'd be with Ethan in Paris afterwards. Mm. I remember Gwen telling me the only thing she wanted to do was to sit in a cafe on the left bank with you and watch the world go by. Oh, and then we got there and I got so sick. So sick you couldn't even leave your hotel suite. Yeah, you were devastated and Ethan was so upset for you. Mm. <laughs> I remember. Oh. Look at how Ethan's looking at Gwen. That's love in his eyes. Pure love. Remember how Ethan vowed to make Gwen's being sick as pleasant as possible? <laughs> Ethan. 
Ethan he went to a cafe, hired waiters, rented tables and chairs, and brought them all back to Gwen's suite. <laughs> Ethan told me if I couldn't go down and see Paris, he would bring Paris up to me. <laughs> I still don't know what strings you pulled to have the street block so that every pedestrian on the left bank had to traipse through our hotel lobby up the stairs and through Gwen's suite so she could watch the world go by like she wanted to. Good show, old sport. <laughs> and so, so romantic. When you love someone, that's what you do. You know, we are so lucky, Gwen, to have such good friends to share good times with. Yeah. Did you hear that? Ethan said, what great friends we have. We're lucky. We means Ethan and Gwen, not Ethan and me. How am I supposed to compete with memories like that? All that shared history. I can't. It's hopeless. I have lost him, Whitney. I have lost him. Oh, shh. Your sweet tooth is going to be the undoing of us yet. What if Ross had seen you reaching for that bun? It's brief, and Timmy can't help it. He's still hungry after being in that mine shaft all night. How can you be hungry after everything you ate at home this morning? Tabitha's asking a living doll to explain his own metabolism. Good one, Tabby. <laughs> And I was upset because you were run over by that mine cart. <laughs> Tabitha never did it. say what she was going to do with Fluffy. Yes, well, first things first. Right now, we have to keep an eye on Miguel to make sure that he doesn't go back to the mine looking for that damn box. What's the plan? I don't know. And Tabitha wonders... Why everything goes wrong. Shush. Until I come up with something really diabolical, we'll just have to stick close to Miguel and keep his mind off finding that box by distracting him. Oh, this is so typical. What is Jessica? My bum sister Kay always gets out of helping clean up the kitchen. Oh, you know what? I think she went upstairs. Yeah, maybe she's just not feeling well. well. She has been gone a long time. Hope nothing's wrong. Would you mind going upstairs and checking on her? I do it myself, but she doesn't really like it when I get too close to her. I think it takes all her strength just to resist me. <laughs> yeah, I'll go check on Kay. Time for a troop movement, Timmy. Tabitha? We feel really awful about what you said earlier. Yeah, about being old and alone. And only having your doll to talk to. Oh, well, I still have my health. <laughs> no, 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 you have more than that. You have us. Come on, let's talk. What, now? Yeah. Sure, we'll have a little chat. Girl talk. Girl talk? Yikes. Well, with Miguel gone, I guess I can talk to Tabitha's doll. <laughs> no, Tabitha. Keep Timmy away from Reese. No, Ross, dear, I'd rather you didn't. Don't worry, Tabitha. I'll be careful with the little guy. Oops. So, Tabitha, I've always wondered where do you get such funky jewelry? Oh, well, here and there. And your clothes. Talk about styling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, well, mix and match, mix and match. That's my motto. <laughs> and your hair, it's so big. Do you do that by yourself? <laughs> oh, yes. Of course I do, dear. You couldn't get this look at a beauty parlor now, could you? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> well, I do my hair, too. I try to match it with my outfits. Yeah. <laughs> so, Timmy. Dude. Who do you think's gonna win the Super Bowl? Timmy needs more Timmy, and he needs it now. You can make my dream of getting Miguel come true. That's why I'm here. Wait till everybody sees you. Then they'll know that everything that happened in the mine shaft last night was real. No, my dear. Nobody can know that I'm here. That has to be our special secret. But everybody thinks that I'm whacked because I told everybody that Charity was evil and that is your choice. You can keep my secret and get Miguel, or you can tell everybody that I'm here and lose out on the boy of your dreams. <laughs> All right, I'll 
keep your secret. I want Miguel more than anything. Good. Now that that's settled, I want you to go to your closet and pull a thread from your favorite blouse. Are we going to use it to cast a spell? Something like that. <laughs> this is so cool. Well, I want to do anything I can to help you get Miguel. <laughs> and in the process of helping you get Miguel, I will get you and your entire family. <laughs> that mouth. I heard it in the tunnel. Deceitful tramp. I know everything, Ivy. Everything. I'm sorry, I really have to insist on you leaving. Julian is yes. delirious. No, come on, Grace. Ivy Grace should stay. <laughs> Sedate him, Eve. Get away from me, Eve. You do, Pilar. They don't want you to know what's been going on behind your back. Don't you leave. Behind my back? I don't understand. I'm talking about the truth, Grace. The truth. About Ivy and her lover. Your husband, Sam. Well, I'm sure whatever it is that brought you by can wait. Can it, buddy? Look, you lost. She's mine. So give me a break already. You know, I'm not sure giving Hank the bum's rush was the right thing to do. Well, right or wrong, I've waited too long for this. And I'm not going to let anyone or anything stand between us. Right now, there's only one thing that I want to do. What? Mm. Make love to you. Oh, Luis. Yeah. 